Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. Today we go out on the EcoDriver loop with a bit of an unusual car. Uh, we have the Ford Tourneo Connect and it's, uh, it's low wheel drive. The 2 liter diesel, 90 kilowatts, 122 horsepower. And that's a, that's a, a badge engineered Volkswagen Caddy. So basically it's a Volkswagen. Um, we have 1,000, but the car weighs 1,781 kilograms, or 3,918 pounds. WLTP consumption is rated with 5.3 to 5.7 liters per hundred kilometers. And of course, I show you how to how to at least stay in this range or even even beat that. Um, yeah, we have a six-speed manual gearbox. And uh, apart from that, it's pretty basic car. This is a start-stop automatic, but no kind of mild hybridization or hybrid or whatever. The route we're doing, you're probably familiar with when you've seen my channel before. We start in the southeastern outskirts of Innsbruck, go out of town uh, for about uh, a mile or one and a half kilometers in a 30 kilometer per hour zone. We then uh, have a climb which elevates us around 360 meters, 1100 feet, followed by some rolling hills, a descent, some open road, mixed roads, uh, speeds ranging from 30 to 100 kilometers an hour, motorway, and at the end, 18 kilometers, 11 miles of city traffic. Uh, the cameras will be on all the time to A, show how am I driving in order to achieve the consumption that I will have achieved at the end, and B, prove that there is no need to go extra slow in order to be efficient. Um, yeah, weather is quite nice today, and but it's pretty cold, it's only 4 degrees outside. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll talk to you after every section, and we check the overall and sectoral consumption. And yeah, see you later. So we're now coming to the end of the climb and uh, we have 12.3 liters per hundred kilometers. Unfortunately we had to uh, almost come to a full stop when we had some good uh, momentum, when some kind of a forklift um, vehicle pulled out in front of us. But yeah, that's a real life test and this happens in real life. You noticed that I barely used uh, or that I never went over 2,000 uh, RPMs. That's a modern diesel and modern diesels don't have a problem with low revs and they have enough torque and enough power uh, on, in the lower parts of, uh, of the revs and as long as or as soon as the engine is warm, has a working temperature, uh, it's no problem to use low revs and high load so you can step on the accelerator and the gas pedal quite quite strongly and but still keep the revs down. We're now coming on to the hills and uh, imagine just like on a roller coaster when it goes down you build up some momentum or some speed and with this speed you go into the next flat or hill section or uphill section and uh, this helps you to save a lot of energy.
So we're now coming to the end of the hills and we see here 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers. That's what the board computer says and uh, yes, I take the numbers from the board computer as firstly it's simply not in my budget to fill up every car when I take it over and then uh, refill it again afterwards. Secondly, the, the precision of the f of the fueling, of the amount fueled with a relatively small amount, and we're talking about three, four liters in total for this trip, is also not 100%. And thirdly, the ADAC, uh, the German Car Drivers Association, uh, they found out that around 60% of the board computers are working precisely, which means plus minus 3%. And 3% is, uh, I, I think that's within the margin. Uh, we have one red light and uh, we have 3% uh, higher consumption, or 0.3% higher consumption. So, and you have a 3, you have a 1% higher consumption. So, yeah, that's, in my eyes, that's acceptable. We're now coming on to the downhill section and here it's important to make use of mother nature, means gravity, just use uh, the momentum that uh, the car builds up by its own when it goes down. We have two flat sections and I try to pass those without the extra use of gas and uh, uh, normally on the way down you don't need to use fuel. Sometimes it might make sense to step on the clutch to keep the vehicle rolling, yes, then you have a little bit of consumption, but it's still better than uh, using the accelerator to uh, I inject some uh, fuel. But normally make use of the injection cut off system, which just cuts off the injection when the car is driving the engine. So we're now coming to the end of the descent and when you go around the corner we see here 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Now we're coming on to the open road section, it's kind of a mixed roads, uh, speed ranges, or speed limits range from 30 to 100 kilometers an hour, 20 to 60 miles per hour and um, here it's important to, once you have built up speed, try to use that speed or make use of that speed to cover a long distance. It means just keep the vehicle rolling. Uh, if you need to reduce the speed, do it by lifting your foot off the accelerator it's early enough and not step on the brakes. Of course, before you have an accident, step on the brakes, but uh, uh, normally try to avoid it.
the end of the open road section the port computer shows 5.8 liters per 100 kilometers <laughs> and, and as you have seen it's not the eco driver who is the obstacle on the road we're now coming onto the motorway and here we have a speed restriction to 100 kilometers per hour 62 miles per hour as per environmental law only evs are exempt from that We're now coming to the end of the motorway and we see here 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Now in city traffic, the last section of the day, it's important to keep the vehicle in motion. Uh, try to anticipate what other road users are doing. Try to see or, or anticipate what the traffic lights will do, will show when, when we are there. And uh, amend the, or adapt the uh, approaching speed towards the traffic light in a way that we can avoid stopping and make use of the knowledge you have about uh, the the routes you're taking as most of the trips are done on, on the same routes if you go to, to work to shop normally it's it's always the same routes Well, we're now at the end of our trip on the Eco Travel Loop with the Photo Neo Connect, and we have 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers, and now the details. So this was our trip on the Eco Travel Loop with the Photo Neo Connect 2.0 AWD, the four-wheel drive. Here you'll see the detailed overall and sectoral consumption. And uh, yeah, as you see here, uh, nothing spectacular, well, 5.5 on the motorway. It's not too bad for a vehicle that might be used on longer trips for families or something, despite the price. Uh, go check out the price and uh, don't be shocked. 
And here we see the overall table of all the diesel cars I've tested so far. And uh, yeah, uh, you see the weather was was quite nice today, seven degrees, we had the winter tires. Uh, the brand was Giti, never heard of them. Maybe I'm just ignorant or have you heard of them? I don't know, but if, if you have, uh, just let me know. Um, six bit manual gearbox, uh, 1.8, close to 1.8 tons. 90 kilowatts, two, two liter engine. Uh, it was a very quick run today. We were one kilometer shorter this time due to some deviation uh, caused by roadworks in the city. Uh, still, it's a very good average speed for this uh, kind of uh, trip. WLTB rate ranges from 5.3 to 5.7, and with 5.7, we just stayed within this margin. So uh, I still can say I'm at least WLTP or better every time. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, the weather was, it, it, it was rather cold today, but I mean, yes, you see here with the Bejo, I had two degrees and still stayed significantly more uh, below WLTP. So it's not, it, it wasn't the weather. Maybe it was my driving or I don't know. Um, or maybe, uh, I don't know, the Volkswagen engine is, uh, they're very optimistic with their WLTPs, but normally that's, that's, that's normed. So uh, there shouldn't be any, any space for, or any, any room for uh, cheating. Oh, hello Volkswagen. Um, well, uh, yeah, and uh, talking in general uh, about diesel engines, low revs, and, Again, it, it's not a problem to use low revs with, uh, especially with this kind of engine, uh, 12, 13, 1400 RPMs. You can easily use this and uh, accelerate from there on. You won't have that much power than with higher revs, but uh, it doesn't harm the engine. And sometimes you've seen that I used only around 1000 RPMs. Uh, yes, if it's just for maintaining the speed or very, very slight acceleration, that's absolutely no problem. Once the engine starts rattling, everything starts shaking, yes, of course, then you shift back, you have more power, the engine runs smoother. But if the engine is warm, those low, engine, low revs are not really a problem. Okay, uh, yeah, and uh, all the other uh, guidelines for eco-driving, uh, you see, I, I try to uh, obey those rules, uh, keep the vehicle in motion, uh, no braking or as little braking as possible, uh, just to use the momentum, uh, try to read the road, try to, to anticipate what the road is doing, try to correct their mistakes. Well, they are too close to the car in front of them and then they brake because uh, they have no room to just adjust the speed by lifting the foot of the, of the gas pedal. Uh, keep a little bit of distance and then you can have a much smoother ride and you don't have to accelerate and brake all the time. Yeah, uh, talking about guidelines for eco-driving, uh, here you find my video with the five tips for uh, better economical driving with uh, combustion cars or with ICE cars. And if I just have a look here at the other cars, you see the Ford Cougar 2.0 mild hybrid. Uh, you find this video down here if you care. And apart from that, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.